Today, I want to talk with you about Jesus the, of Nazareth, the Son of God. We will be uh, dealing today with our uh, New Beginnings content lesson number three. You know, Jesus is either a, a liar, a lunatic, or he is Lord. <laughs> he, can, he can't be all of them, but he's got to choose one. Jesus is a liar if he claims to be God, but he knows he isn't. We find in John 10 that there are individuals who are the leaders of the church that want to kill him because they say he claimed to be God. So obviously they heard him say that. Jesus is a lunatic if he isn't God, but he thinks he is. Well, in John 18, uh, 36, yeah, Jesus makes it uh, very, very plain that um, that he is uh, come from God and that he is uh, God and that he is certainly not a lunatic. Another possibility is that Jesus is a legend. If he never thought or said he was God, but others said it about him, well, he's certainly not just a legend. As we see in Matthew uh, 16, we see that uh, Peter, says that, you know, he asks, who, who do people say that I am? And he says, Peter says that you are the Messiah. You are the son of the living God. <clears throat> if we follow a legend or a liar, that's vanity. If we follow a lunatic, that's insanity. But if we follow Jesus as Lord, that's Christianity. Romans 10 and 9 makes it very plain for us that if we believe in our hearts and confess with our mouths, then we are saved. We're following the true and only God come in the flesh. The word gospel means good news. Well, what is the gospel? Well, Luke 2, 10 through 11, we see these words, fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which is for all people. For unto us, unto you is born this day in the city of David, a savior, which is Christ the Lord. The angel makes this uh, proclamation on the day that he is born. And uh, without a doubt, he is good news of great joy for all people. The truth of Jesus coming to be a triumphant, wounded Savior is as old as the Lord's promise in the Garden of Eden. You know, the serpent had deceived uh, Adam and Eve, but God made it be plain that, yes, you would bite his heel, but he would crush your head. The truth of Jesus coming again as a triumphant, wounded Savior is as bold as the Lord's picture of the end of the world. He makes it plain here. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. He brings it all together right here. In various books, all of the books in the Old Testament and the New Testament, Jesus is presented in every book. Uh, I'll just take five from each one. In Genesis, he's the serpent crusher. In Exodus, he's the Passover lamb. In Leviticus, He's the priest and the sacrifice. In Numbers, he's the serpent on the pole, not the serpent, Satan, but the serpent on the pole, the Nehushtan. In Deuteronomy, he's the blessing. In Matthew, he's the law fulfilled. In Mark, he's the power of God. In Luke, he's the hope of the hopeless. In John, he's my Lord and my God. In Acts, he's the testimony. Jesus is both God and man all together at all times. This cannot be fully understood, but he cannot be understood in any other way. John 1.1 1, 1 and 14 makes it very, very plain that uh, in the beginning was God, uh, it was the Word, and the Word was God, was with God, and the Word was God, and that the Word put on flesh and that the word came and lived among us. As a man, Jesus was subject to temptation. We see in Matthew 4, in Hebrews, 
makes it plain here as he says that uh, we see it demonstrated and he says in Hebrews as he goes through temptation, he's able to make it, he's able to yield uh, uh, not to temptation and that we have the same power through the Holy Spirit as we see in Hebrews 4.15 and 2 Corinthians 5. Uh, 21. There's no temptation that we can go through that others who are in Christ have not already gone through and have uh, come through victorious. So what did Jesus do in Mark 2, 1 through 12? He saved an individual who was an invalid all the way from birth, as well as he healed him. That was blasphemy and considered to be uh, something that a person could be stoned for, but Jesus was just doing what God does, and that is he saves and he heals. What does Jesus have in Matthew 28, 18? He has all authority that has been given to him by God the Father. What did Jesus do in Matthew 27? Well, he didn't do anything. He didn't respond to his captors, his persecutors, but in uh, Matthew 28, Jesus says he has all authority, and he gives that authority to you and I and all the disciples that will follow him. How can we have an everlasting love relationship with Jesus Christ? Well, we travel the Roman road. Romans 3.23, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 6.23, The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 5, 8, for God demonstrated his love to us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And then Romans 10, 9 through 11, that if we believe in our hearts and confess with our mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, we shall be saved. What that means is, is that Um, When we believe that he is Lord, that's the same thing as saying that he is God. Uh, Come into flesh, he is Lord of my life. For all who call upon the Lord Jesus shall be saved. What did God the Father say about God the Son in Hebrews 1.8? Well, he (laughs) says, your throne, O God, will last forever and ever, and righteousness will be the scepter of your kingdom. He calls him, oh God. All right, next uh, week, we will talk about God the Spirit, which will be lesson number four. I hope that you will tune in. These lessons are fairly short so that you will be able to see them pretty quickly on your lunch break or whatever. And we just want you to know we're glad that you are here with us on this time. We're going to pray as we get ready to close. Father, we thank you for this time as we've learned about Jesus. We've learned about God the Father. We've learned about scripture. And Lord, we give you the praise as we get ready uh, to talk about in our next lesson, lesson number four, so important to our doctrine, and that is God the Holy Spirit. This will complete the Trinity. Uh, It won't complete our study, but it will complete the Trinity. God bless you and take care now. Bye-bye.